here. This afternoon we're visiting the Harvest Restaurant in Harvard Square, located at 44 Bradle Street. We're going to be visiting with our good friend and manager, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Denise. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm well. So, my friend, 43 yes. years, the first farm-to-table restaurant in Harvard Square. 43. It's amazing. It it's is. It's wonderful. And yep. you're still here. And it's the middle of the summer in the middle of the week, and you have people here in the middle of the day mm -hmm. enjoying food. It's mm -hmm. fabulous. What's going on? Tell still me. going strong. Yeah. Uh, 43 years, lunch, dinner, brunch. Uh, open patio pretty much for a good three quarters of the year um, some private spaces for some rooms I'll give you a little tour after right now we're doing some fun summer stuff with a rosé your day away on the patio it's between the hours of 4 and 6 p.m. on Wednesday Thursday Friday kind of focusing for our neighbors right here in the square after they get out of work come back relax maybe have a glass of rosé on the patio some nice complimentary bar bites. Uh, we're also doing a wonderful donut pop-up from our executive sh pastry chef, Josh Livesey. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been doing it once a month for the past four months, and it's been really successful. Fresh, fresh, fresh made donuts by Josh. And we actually uh, have a little stand right out in the patio that I can kind of show you that space. Okay. But Can we take a look? Yeah, I'd love to. Great, thank you. Follow me this way. All right. Here's wonderful bar. Beautiful dining room. You know what? Uh, I'm going kitchen. I'm gonna introduce you to our executive uh, chef here as well. Perfect. Thank this you. This is our executive chef, Tyler Kinnett. Right. Tyler, how are you? Welcome. Thank you. So, what's going on? What are you cooking up special for today, for the summer? Plans for the for when the students come back in a few weeks? What's so, going on? Uh, well, we always do really cool things with local ingredients. Sort of Harvest was like the, the big flagship restaurant that got all that stuff going on the East Coast with the local farm to table thing. Uh, so right now, we're offering a purveyor's dinner, what we're calling it. So we highlight one specific purveyor per month, and then we go meet them, and we see the farm, we take all the staff out there, and we have a really good time. And then we take all those ingredients, get inspired, and write this menu that we run for a special. Uh, and it's there's no rules. We do whatever we want. It can be you know tasting menu with like six courses. It can be a bunch of pastas that you just buy a la carte. You know cool stuff like that. So currently this month we're doing uh, Ward's Berry Farm and they're out of Sharon. And, uh, Jim Ward is a really great guy. If you ever go down there, he has a farm stand and they're just really great people. And uh, next month. We're going to switch over to Allendale Farm, and uh, we've been working with them for a couple of years now, and it's been about, I'd say, four or five years with them, so we know them really well. And uh, we're, their menu is going to be coming out next next month, so uh, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. So we just got a message from Susan, and she says, is this a special event, or are they always farm to table? That's a great question. Uh, we are always farm to table. That doesn't mean to say we buy local whenever we can. So yes. New England is sort of a hard zone to, to buy from in, in uh, the cold weather. So, you know, January through February, we, we have to get tough around here, but um, we have really great relationships with our meat purveyors. We buy a lot of local meats and uh, we really humanely raise meats. Our seafood is, of course, you know, we cut whole fish every day and uh, we have really great relationships with, with those guys. And then, you know, seven or eight local farms that we buy from on a weekly basis. So we are really, we, we walk it, you know, we don't just talk it. So. Perfect. So, Jeff, can we see the rest of the restaurant? Yeah, come on, I'll give you a tour, Tyler, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> really appreciate it. So back here, we do some private spaces, some private events. We have private events, semi-private events, and in this back room, as you can see back here, we have actually a, a partition, a wall that goes up right here. So we actually make two private rooms here, or one full private room. Um, obviously, we do a la carte dining here. And these wonderful glass doors, these open up and it leads you right out to our patio. And this is a three season patio or is it four season? This, this would, uh, it's three season. Three season. I would love yeah. to squeeze four seasons out of it, but yes, I don't I think, think I can. Lots of people would too. I remember being here with the heaters on, yeah. on a crisp uh, November it's, evening. It's and it was gorgeous, just beautiful. it's yes. gorgeous. We have about 10 heaters out here that are extremely powerful too. I mean, we typically keep them on low because it's so warm with the awning. Yes. But for lunch, dinner, brunch as well uh, we have uh, 20 tables about 55 seats out here and we also actually have some of our private events that come out into here as well where we uh, rent out some of this space so these doors can open 
Yeah, these doors open here and here, so it really opens up the whole restaurant on those lovely days and just uh, gives it a whole different atmosphere. It's gorgeous, it really is. Yeah. Maybe see the main dining room and sure. then um, I, you have lots of people waiting for you to yes. do things with. So we're back here at the open kitchen and um, it's smelling delicious. And here we are in the main dining room. So in here is the main dining room. And if you want to follow me. Sure. You know, the restaurant being 43 years, back when it first opened up, there used to be a big bar here, but we've done a few renovations and have opened it up quite much. Um, when we open up the Nana doors here, the restaurant flows right into the outside patio. It's, just, it's really gorgeous. And then down through here, this is what we call our alcove. This is also a little space that we do for not only a la carte dining, but semi-private as well. Yeah. 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 So perfect, but Jeff, you have people that are looking toward you. Yes. As the manager here, you have lots going on. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to continue this little tour outside so that I can give people the perspective of where you are, because you're located at 44 Brattle. Right. But you're really on this little beautiful pathway. We're, we're in between Brattle Street and Mount Auburn, yes. and it's down this red brickway yes. so that connects both streets, and yes. we are, we're right in the middle, which is cute, and it's quaint, and it gives our patio a nice sense of privacy and it's quiet it's off the street so it's really nice but yeah sometimes people have a hard time finding us yeah so I want to make sure that everybody finds you here along this beautiful little hidden gem pathway in Thank Harvard you. Square so Thank again you. it's 44 Harvard um, 44, 44 Bradley Street, street in yeah. Harvard Square and Thank you so much for allowing us to do Facebook live this afternoon Thank you Denise okay, Jeff, Thank you care. you have a yeah. wonderful day and here we are heading out the door little beautiful area and as you can see we're on this little brick pathway in the back of Brattle Street and there it is Harvest Restaurant and join us for lunch or dinner on our lovely patio and I have to say that even though it is 91 degrees here this afternoon the patio was quite comfortable with their overhead fans and you can see there's another little hidden pathway here and we're going to make our way up to Brattle Street. And thank you for joining us at Facebook Live.